Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Delaney. Today's video is going to be a 2024 spring fashion trends video. I do one of these for every season for I don't know how many years now. And I love doing these videos because it's just a great way to get inspired, kind of get tapped into what's happening in the fashion world and looking forward to a new season, especially when we're coming out of winter and going into spring. I feel like it's really exciting because I don't know about everybody else, but I I'm always over winter by the time it's finishing up so I'm here for the spring trends always as you guys can see I'm filming today's video from the car if you watch my other videos on YouTube you know that we're doing a remodel at our house right now there's tons of construction noise all day every day so the car is a quiet place where I can film a video and this is just like mostly a talking video I've been doing voiceovers and other videos which some of you like some of you don't like but this is like all talking so I was like okay we're just gonna hop in the car for this I've done all my research in my little notebook for today's video and some backstory on these types of videos and the research that I do and everything. Recently online, I've seen a lot of people talk about trends in kind of a negative way or almost a frustrated way, which I totally understand. I just want to touch on that a little bit because my personal relationship with trends has always been that trends are used as a tool just to inspire me and how I'm dressing and expressing myself with fashion and everything. I don't view trends myself as things that you like have to adhere to or you have to follow along with or you have to invest in these trends i think so many trends can be done with really simple elements that you can find really easily really affordable and it just doesn't have to be like these rules that we're following so just know that when i'm speaking about trends i am mostly just speaking to what's happening in the fashion world whether that be on the runways whether that be in the real world whether that be on social media whatever it is it's just kind of tapping into the things that are going on in fashion and like i said getting inspired by them and not feeling this pressure to subscribe to them or do them or invest in them if it's not something that inspires you or that you connect with you just leave the trend behind you can look at it you can observe it you can take what you like from it and you can leave what you don't like so that's just how i feel about trends and i just wanted to preface that before we hopped in to today's video and then for the research on these videos I like to read fashion articles from like Vogue, Glamour, Cosmopolitan, Harper's Bazaar, anything like that. I also like to look at what they're doing on the runways for those seasons. I look at social media a lot. I'll watch YouTube videos, go on Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, all those things give me inspiration and then things in real life that I'm seeing a lot. So these trend videos are just a compilation of all of those things combined. And without further ado, we'll get into the trends. Also, at the end of this video, let me know if you guys liked the trends and if you'd want to see me do a part two to this video where I actually style them. For today, we'll just put the inspo pics of various mediums of the trends okay so the first one is roses and this is something that i've talked about in a lot of recent videos because the flower appliques have been something that have been trending for the past couple of seasons and they're not going away but i would say that for this 2024 spring season they have been refined down to specifically roses some of the places that i read up on them were calling them rosettes and this can be seen in a lot of different ways so i think vogue and glamour both mentioned this and i love this trend because obviously florals for spring is groundbreaking you guys know the quote and this fits perfectly into that so i think every spring fashion trend video that i've done for however many years has included some form of florals because it is just a true classic of spring styling and fashion and it makes so much sense so this version of it i think is really lovely it gives a ton of feminine energy but it can also be a more sultry sexy feminine energy than something super girly I guess for the feminine energy so I love that part about the rose aesthetic and I also love that this can be done in a multitude of different ways so a rose print obviously is one but then the 3d and the applique all those styles of roses that are actually coming off of the clothes or the shoes or the bags is another version that we're seeing so much of and I just think it's really fun and cool this was literally all over the runways it's also very romantic that's kind of what I was alluding to with that feminine energy it's not as 
youthful and girly it's a little bit more refined and sophisticated but still very feminine and very fitting for spring so this is like a great option for something to wear as a wedding guest or a romantic dinner or just something when you're feeling like in your feminine power and you just want to rock a nice rose so i am so here for this trend next up is big bags and this is something that i think we've seen the fashion world gravitate more towards over the past couple of seasons so as we all know the micro bags and super small kind of i don't want to say useless but not the most practical bags were trending for a while there and i'm not gonna lie all i also love those bags i have some really small bags and i just think that they're fun but again they're not that functional so it makes so much more sense from a functionality standpoint to be gravitating towards big bags they're oversized you can fit tons of things in them and they just make a lot more sense in that way so i do appreciate that and i love them in like a hobo style bag like a nice loose slouchy shoulder bag a tote bag kind of like a workwear style bag i've been wearing a lot of those like the pauline paris one is amazing i just got another one from shop up like a cream one i forget the brand but these really big bags that you can like fit your computer in your notebooks uh, your planner your ipad whatever it will be and maybe even hop on a plane with them or go work at a coffee shop those are really trending and they're just so functional so i love that aspect and even though i'm not the biggest bag girl myself because i never really know what to put in them i have been working on it i have been finding very useful things to put in my bags and i find of course when i want to be carrying big things like workwear things it's so nice to have a large bag like that the next one is something that i've seen in real life and on social media a ton and that is the drop waist so the drop waist falls more at your hips instead of at your smallest part of your waist so it can be a little less traditionally flattering i would say maybe but i've also seen it look so good on so many people it's very chic it gives this great sort of effortless feel and kind of just like an old school vibe i think the drop waist is was popular in the 1920s so that's why it gives that sort of like vintage feel and i've seen a lot of this at reformation i've also seen house of cb do this a lot with like just these really cute dresses and i'm like I wouldn't normally go for a drop waist. I wouldn't think that that would look good on me, but actually a few weeks back, I tried a drop waist dress from Reformation on a haul on YouTube and I actually really liked it. I was very surprised by that. So I think that this is a great option for something kind of easy, effortless, breezy. It's a great like taking a spring or summer trip, going wine tasting, going to lunch, something like that. I don't know. It's just one of those style of spring outfits. So I'm actually very here for it. It's also really lengthening I was reading up on. So if you have like a shorter torso and longer legs and you're trying to balance out your proportions a little bit, a drop waist could actually be really good for that. The next one is something that I've been loving honestly for years and especially the past season or so. And that is hot pants, short shorts, micro shorts, whatever you want to call them. I am obsessed with these. If you guys followed along when I went to London back in December, I had this pair of hot pants from White Fox that I've had for probably two or three years. And I wore them almost every single day in London. I wore them with tights and they looked so cute with like knee high boots, sweaters, body suits, pea coats, blazers, corset tops, you name it everything looked freaking good with them i was obsessed and i couldn't get enough of them so that kind of stems from the no pants trend that was happening in fall and winter and it's kind of just transitioning over into spring this was all over the runways with chanel gucci alexander mcqueen isabel morant and even though it's all over the runways and it seems a little out there i find this trend so wearable obviously as i'm mentioning i wore it so much in recent months so if you guys haven't tried it and you're interested i really think that you might like it more than you think you would so give it a go i'll put some inspo pics up here i'll try to find some pictures of when i was wearing them as well i just i'm a stand for the hot pants next up is power dressing or workwear if you guys follow me over on instagram i've been posting a ton of workwear inspiration because i get a lot of requests for that i know a lot of people have office jobs or just more regular nine to fives and they want inspo on what to wear so i actually posted a workwear video on youtube too recently and i love this because i love like professional 
clothing even though i don't work an office job or a traditional nine to five i think that the styles are so chic and timeless and classy and i've had so much fun styling them so i loved reading up i think it was in glamour or maybe it was in vogue but they were talking about this style of dressing and they called it power dressing so it's just like being a ceo feeling powerful dressing like you own the workplace and i am so here for that so think obviously suits blazers uh pointed toe heels pumps that kind of energy which also gives like an 80s 90s vibe which i personally love as well so lots of structure in the shoulders nice trousers all those types of things i am so here for that okay this next one is a little controversial i actually posted a reel a few months back i think where i was wearing one of these and a lot of people in the comments were like bothered or shocked so i've been seeing them on social media and in real life and i personally think that they can be styled really well that is the peplum top okay so if you guys don't know what a peplum top is it's basically where the bottom part of the top has some fabric that goes out and it kind of creates this volume and this flare and it can be unflattering so i get why people don't like it but i also think that it can be styled to look very flattering so i've seen a ton of brands with some really cute peplum tops recently reformation being a huge one nakd or naked i always call them naked i don't know why i just said any <laughs> i don't know what other brands i can think of but i love these tops because i think that they can be like very cool girl you can style them with a pair of low-waisted denim and the pointed toe pumps and it's just combining a lot of these interesting lines and genres i feel like um i also think that they're great for workwear actually building off of that power dressing they're kind of professional looking but like i'm saying you can make them a bit more edgy and cool girl as well and i like that they create volume like around the hip area because i'm very narrow in the hips so i just kind of like that illusion that it creates with the volume so i hear me out i think peplum tops can be cool so i might be like very controversial for saying that but i think i think it can happen okay this next one is kind of similar to that i think that they kind of go together or they just remind me of each other for some reason and that is the capri pant so we have seen these coming to rise in the past couple of seasons as well but it sounds like from my research i think it was in vogue that they were talking about this or no it was in glamour but these are like really making their place in the trends right now and i'm a little bit on the fence with capris because i'm a bit on the shorter side i'm 5'4 and I have like an athletic build and I kind of feel like capris aren't going to suit me because my calves are a little bit like muscular and I'm not super tall so I just think mm, they might make me look really mm, short and squat or something so I'm on the fence I want to see about styling them I love the way they look on other people I think that they're so chic and fun and they give that really youthful happy springy summer vibe they look really great with i think they would look really great with a peplum top i also think they look great with like a button-up or a sweater uh like off the shoulder sweater or something a pair of ballet flats like it's so chic it gives me a little bit of new york feel a little bit of model off duty but kind of a vintage version of that i when i was researching the capris i actually found out that they came to popularity in the 1950s and 60s and their name is because they rose to popularity in capri in italy so that's why they're called capris which i thought was really cool so yeah i love this sort of like vintage feel to them i don't know if proportionally i'll be able to pull them off i also I think they look really cute with kitten heels i've seen so many girls on social media style them that way and they look so good i just don't know if that trend is going to be one that i'm actually going to adopt in this next season but we'll see you never say never with me next we're going to talk about mermaid core which is something i think it was trending maybe last summer or the year before that and i actually love this because i think that there's so many different ways to go about this so that can be like metallics sequins and it can go from your makeup to your hair to the clothes that you're wearing so there's so many different variations to kind of incorporate this influence which i think is really nice so even like little tiny hair accessories like putting a bunch of braids in air-dried hair or um whatever with the little clips and 
the little charms like a little seashell or something that is such a cute fun thing to do that definitely gives more of a summery feel to me than spring but it's still an element like those seasons are right next to each other so you can tie it in and I feel like it will make sense but also just with makeup um, the other night when we were in Mexico I wore this dress that very much so gave mermaid energy it was a rose gold sort of mesh feel and I just loved that mermaid energy coming from it so I decided to lean into that a little bit I did like a slick back hair situation it was giving like I just came out of the ocean I put lip gloss on my eyelids it was so moody and mermaidy it was like sireny and it was really simple and easy to do too so I feel like there's just a lot of fun ways to play around with that like the wet hair look the wet makeup look sparkles glitter metallics all that so I also feel like the sequins for this trend don't have to be really strong over the top sequins they could be like lighter softer sequins and not as many of them on the article of clothing so not fully sequined sla the label is a great brand that kind of reminds me of that where it's just a little bit they'll have like studded things with sparkles and it just kind of gives that mermaid energy to me okay this next one is something that i have always loved and will always love as well i read about this in vogue and it's the feather details so i am a huge texture girl i love texture in my home decor in my outfits in my jewelry in my hair literally just want texture on so many things I find it so aesthetically pleasing and expressive so I love this feather trend I'm also noticing that it's a lot more like trim and details than maybe two or three years ago I feel like full feather things were very on trend and I have a skirt from a few years back that's like all feathers and I still love it I'll keep it forever and I'll style it in different ways but I feel like the things that I've seen recently and I have like some feather tops from a few years ago that are literally just all feathers I feel like the things now are little dresses with feather trim on the bottom I actually just ordered one from Revolve and I don't know what else like I'll put some more inspo pictures of things that I've seen with feathers like maybe a little bit on bags or something but it doesn't have to be the whole thing it'll be more just like details added to something which I think is nice because it's a little bit more wearable and a little bit more understated okay last but not least we're gonna talk about preppy style I read about this on glamour I think they mentioned some like polo things on vogue as well and this is something that I don't know if I've talked about this much on my channel but I actually grew up going to private school so we always wore uniforms and I hated that because I always just wanted to wear clothing that I picked out and I got to style and I got to express myself through so the, I have like a weird relationship with preppy style because it kind of just reminds me of my uniform that I literally hated and I couldn't wait until I could go to college and wear whatever I wanted but this has definitely been something that dominated the runways it was all over like the Miu Miu show and you know like the little bayonetta glasses that have been trending from Miu Miu but those kind of give me that preppy feel that vibe it's like an early 2000s preppy feel and it's a little bit edgy and like sexy too with the bayonetta glasses but just preppy in general so like pleated skirts button-ups maybe sweater vests or polos blazers these are just like all the elements that I'm seeing for this I think the thing that I gravitate towards most for that is probably like the pleated skirts I think are so cute for spring maybe some loafers with some socks and I also think that preppy style is something kind of like florals that I'll always associate with spring fashion i don't know why it just feels it just feels so fitting for that time of year so i'm not surprised by that one at all but it is happening so had to share it of course and that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this like i said these are just the tap in of the fashion world that i've collected from social media from real life from looking at the runways the publications all those things so i hope you guys enjoyed this and got inspired i'm really looking forward to the spring fashion this year and styling some things up so let me know if you want to see the part two of this video where i actually style the clothes and i'll see you guys next time